The John Carter Brown Library is an independently funded research library of history and the humanities on the campus of Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island. The library's rare book, manuscript, and map collection encompass a variety of topics related to the history of European exploration and colonization of the New World until circa 1825. The library was the first independent private library placed within the context of a university campus in the United States. Illustration from the JCB's copy of the Tovar Codex, depicting a rite from the Aztec festival of Plakaxapewalisli, the John Carter Brown Library began as the private collection of John Carter Brown. Beginning in 1845, Brown began traveling throughout Europe in search of books and materials related European exploration and colonization of the New World. Brown acquired a number of rare books from prominent libraries, including those of Henri Turno Campan and Maximilian I of Mexico. After John Carter Brown's death, his wife Sophia Augusta Brown continued collecting with the advisement of John Russell Bartlett and Rush Hawkins. During his lifetime, John Nicholas Brown, son of John Nicholas, continued to expand the collection. Prior to his 1900 death, the collection was kept in a special fireproof library within the Brown family residence. In accordance with his will, the trustees of Brown's estate established the collection, together with a building to house it, at a permanent site on the campus of Brown University. Per an agreement reached between the executors and the university, the library is owned by the university corporation but maintains its own separate and special housing and is kept separate and distinct from any other library. The library is housed in a Beaux-Arts-style building on Brown's main green, designed by the architects Shepley, Rutan, and Coolidge, and completed in 1904. The building was expanded in 1990, with funds provided by New Jersey financier and philanthropist Finn M. W. Casperson. The four-story annex, designed by the Washington, D.C., architects Hartman Cox, was named the Casperson Building in honor of Casperson's parents. The collection of the John Carter Brown Library consists of more than 50,000 books written about both North and South America until roughly the end of the colonial era in the Americas. As well as around 16,000 specialized reference books providing supplementary information about the library's holdings. The library also holds a major collection of prints, manuscripts, and maps of the New World. The collection of the John Carter Brown Library begins chronologically with 15th-century editions of Columbus's celebrated letter to the Spanish court announcing the discovery of lands to the West. The library houses one of the largest collections of books printed in British North America before 1800, the world's most complete collection of Mexican works printed. Before 1600, the largest collection of printed works relating to Brazil before 1820, a collection of printed sources for the study of early Canada and the Caribbean. Nearly three-quarters of all known imprints in the native languages of North and South America from the colonial period, and the largest collection of political pamphlets produced at the time of the American Revolution. The JCB's copy of the Baysom book, owned by Richard Mather and acquired by John Carter Brown in 1881 collection highlights include the best preserved of 11 extant copies of Bay. Some book, the first book printed in British North America, a Shakespeare first folio, leaves from the Gutenberg Bible, a copy of the first Bible printed in British North America. One of four surviving copies of Benjamin Franklin's A Dissertation on Liberty and Necessity, Pleasure and Pain, one of two copies of the hand-illustrated Tovar Codex an important 16th-century source on Aztec culture, and a copy of Vocabulario en Lengua Castellana y Mexicana, the first dictionary published in the New World. The library also holds many important maps and prints relating to the New World. These maps include one of the first printed attempts to depict America in cartographic form, the first printed map of Hernán Cortés's Mexico City, built on the ruins of the Aztec capital, Tenochtitlan. The earliest known printed plan of a European settlement in what is now the United States, and one of the earliest maps to show the French exploration of the Mississippi River. Attributed to Louis Joliet. In 2012, a group of Brown undergraduates and scholars deciphered an encoded essay in the hand of Roger Williams, scrawled in the marginalia of a book within the library's holdings. This essay, thought to be Williams's last, concerns a theological debate on the nature of baptism and Indian conversion. The archive of early American images is drawn from the holdings of the John Carter Brown Library. The EI assists scholars in their quest for contemporary images to illustrate their research findings and to facilitate the study of historical images in their own right and in proper context. 
It is a unique resource for picture researchers, documentary filmmakers, and others looking for material for commercial use. Many of these American images come from books printed in the early modern period that have never been reproduced before. As of August 2014, the database, which also includes a map collection, political cartoon collection, and John Russell Bartlett Boundary Commission collection, had about 11,270 images and is still growing. Images in this database are accompanied by extensive bibliographical and descriptive information and come from books in most European, and some indigenous, languages from before c. 1825. Bookplate of the Sylvia Augusta Brown Fund from the John Carter Brown Library Neil Safir was the director and librarian of the John Carter Brown Library from 2013 until January 2021. Safir was preceded by Edward L. Widmer, Norman Firing, Thomas R. Adams, Lawrence C. Roth, Worthington C. Ford, Champlin Barrage, George Parker Winship. Thanks for watching.